Hey guys, Stealth here. Today with a short video on the American CEV, so the Combat Engineers vehicle, and the British AVRE, the Armored Vehicle Royal Engineers. When I first saw these things, I was like, what the hell do you do with these? Then I started reading up on them, and now I really found a good purpose for them, which is an infantry killer slash stun tank. Now let's have a quick look at the unit itself. Um, it's basically an older, outdated tank. I mean, these things are from 1965. And from what I know about them, they're originally designed to destroy bunkers or buildings. Now, of course, we cannot exactly do that in Wargame. So what you can instead use them in Wargame for is using their high HE power to go after infantry. They can do this at an even greater range than tanks can, because they have 2450 meter range, whereas tanks come with 2275 at best. They also carry a machine gun, but you get this thing mostly for the gun. Now both the AVRE and the CEV come in at 40 and 45 points, so they're pretty equal. And I believe that if we compare them, we're going to find pretty much exactly the same specs. Same rate of fire, same suppression, same HE power. And the reason for that is that it's exactly the same gun. The only difference is that the British put it on a Centurion tank and the Americans put it on a different kind of platform. That shows a little bit in the specs because the American has a bit more frontal armor, one point more. It has a bit less side armor, which is interesting. Three versus four. Otherwise the same. Um, autonomy is a bit better for the Americans. Road speed is of course 110 because it's a tracked vehicle and off-road is pretty pretty bad on these things. Also keep in mind that optics is poor, so you will need to have recon for these units, and the size is big. Now you use these things in an infantry killer role, so find infantry that's out in the open. First destroy their vehicle using this big gun, but keep in mind that its accuracy is pretty bad. So you'll probably need to use two of these in tandem, which I found best. Use two of these to destroy the vehicle and then kill the infantry. Now I've created a quick game to show you exactly what these things can do. Let's find the replay. And in this deck I only have the AVRE and the CEV. So only those two vehicles. Now I'll speed this up to the point where it gets interesting. Oh yeah, and of course I have ferrets. Uh, the AI I gave a variety of different vehicles such as scouts. Um, I wanted to show you what they can do against tanks. So I got a couple of T-64 BVs in. I got a couple of Chan Mahos in. And some SPW-70 with infantry. Also some artillery but unfortunately I never get exactly a chance to shoot at those. Some Afghanskis which are lightly armored AA guns. And some OSAs which are 65 points AA missile launchers. So the first thing I do is call out a whole lot of these things just to give you a lot of gameplay footage. Here we go, my first CEVs are arriving on the front line. Now before we get this off, normally you would not use these things in the way I'm using them, which is just on the front line without any kind of cover, any kind of support, any tank, any vehicle supporting them. They're alone, basically. The reason I did this is because I wanted to show you what the unit itself can do. Because if I were to add, for example, an M1A1 Abrams in this, uh, you would not get a good image or not a good idea what these things can do. So again, they're a bit out of their element, but um, it does give you a better idea of what they can do. Slow this down a little bit. Now you can also see exactly how brilliant the AI is, just pushing everything down the middle instead of also trying the flanks. But we'll leave that for a different part. Also interesting to highlight the uh, camouflage or stealth ability of this ferret, which is a Canadian scout vehicle. It was in this forest here and it didn't get detected by the Chan Mahos or any of the other units here, even though they had a recon in here. Anyway, we got our first target, and it's engaging the ferret right now, so I'm relocating this 728. Watch this. It fires. Just watch the accuracy. That landed about at the same position. But it did do damage. 
that took half of the health of this vehicle without actually hitting it. So that is the 8 HE power at work for you. Again, this is not the typical target for the 728 uh, or the AVRE. Normally, I would use it against infantry, which is either entrenched, so in buildings, or coming up against um, infantry in the open, which unfortunately there wasn't a lot of here. Now, with these AVREs here on the left side, I'm engaging, and I'm just blind firing at this point. I didn't know exactly where they were. Again, this thing will not hit. It just landed in the general vicinity. See, it didn't hit the vehicle. The vehicle ended up dead here. The explosion went off here, about, let's say, 5 to 10 meters away. So it really has a large splash radius. Now we're coming up against tanks, which is a bit more interesting to watch, because you're going to see how effective these things are, which is both good and bad. Now they're getting in and out of view range. And these uh, trees here are blocking line of sight a little bit. And then being stunned also doesn't exactly help. That is something you... Hang on. That is something you will need to keep in mind. Um, these CEVs will take fire. And the higher the veterancy, the better their chances of hitting. Because... Um, you really want to have every advantage you can get, and their 25% accuracy on itself is already pretty bad. So the better veterancy, um, the less likely they are to panic, so the less likely they are to lose some of that accuracy, and the more likely they are to actually hit their target. Now, unfortunately, this CEV got destroyed, so you can see that it's not very survivable against tanks. But what I wanted to show you was what they did to these Chon Mahos. They stunned them, which means that these things for a couple of seconds cannot fire, they cannot do anything, and they took three bars of health and four bars of health off of them. So they can be used against tanks, but mostly in a supporting role. For example, if I were to have, um, let's say this is a pretty cheap tank, if I were to have a Leopard 1A5 here now, the Leopard would really easily take out these tanks because they'd not be firing back at them. So that is how you can use uh, the CEV or the AVRE because they do exactly the same thing against tanks. You stun them, you soften them up, and then your actual tank force or tank killers come in. Now just see how much fire it took for this thing to die. He took about five or six shells, and yeah, these things aren't the best AP power guns. But uh, those AVREs did take a couple of hits or the CEVs actually, they did take a couple of hits before they went down. So they are somewhat survivable. One more thing, I thought about firing these things on the move, can't be done. They have the static tag, which means they have to be stationary, and that means that they cannot fire on the move at all. You gotta keep these things stopped. So if you're doing a push with these things, put them on attack move. If you put them on attack move, they will stop, fire, and then keep moving once the threat has gone. So this is how you can use these things. Don't put them on move fast, because they'll just end up going into the enemy lines without firing a single shot. Watch this. Two shells. More or less in the vicinity of this vehicle. Still stun them. And that was not done by any of the other vehicles. Next shell away. That didn't land anywhere near. Oh, actually it did. It landed right on top of this tank. Sorry. I thought they were closer together. Still, didn't kill them. Stunned them again. And they're panicked. So that also means that the rate of fire has gone down significantly. Right here we got 80 GMs coming in from these T-64 BVs. Though these Agona or Agona 80 GMs come with 22 AP power. So let's see if these things can actually survive that. And yeah, they can. A 22 AP power anti-tank weapon still made this thing survive with about 3 to 4 blocks of health. So yeah, they can survive into GMs.
This thing is also trying to fire, but he's again taking fire from an artillery launcher here. I'm bringing the rest of my CEVs here, and this is where it gets a bit hectic because I had too much to cover at the same time. We got a couple of units here. Now, never use six of these together. That's just ridiculous. But for the points, uh, for the, the purpose of this video, it was okay. Actually, let's slow this down a little bit. Um, these things might get worried from the Afghanskis firing at them. Look at that. Look at that. They stunned eight tanks. The cross on top of them, they just stunned them. These things are completely out of the fight for now. The player, or the AI in this case, controlling them cannot do anything with them. Because they just took a hit from, or a splash probably, from a 152mm gun. And that really shook them. Two more direct hits from these Centurions didn't kill them. Keep it in mind, these things may come in the shape and form of a tank, but they are not tanks. You do not use these things to kill other tanks, that's not their role. But again, if I were to have different tanks in here now, these would be easy prey, especially with all of them panicked. That means less accuracy, less rate of fire, and a general um, lack of firepower on the unit. So, stun them, and then kill them. Over here we have some FGB-40s. There were 10. Then they took a couple of hits from these things, and they were entrenched. Now normally you would kill one guy, if at all, using a tank round. They killed six. So that's just the high HE power at work. Again, firing some more rounds. There you go. Of course, normally, I would have to fire at those things beyond their range. Because right now, these FGBs were actually in range of the anti-tank weapon, or just outside of it. But let's say you're engaging standard infantry, which is entrenched in these buildings. Um, this would be a decent range. Say, from this road to that building. Because this is well outside the range of 525 meters, which is the standard anti-tank weapon. Say they have um, very good ATGMs, such as the Eryx, which is uh, the Japanese slash Canadian slash Danish anti-tank weapon with a thousand meter range. That will probably not hit these things because they were out of range. So this is an ideal engagement range. And they would probably even fire from out here. Now, we got some infantry in the open. So let's see how effective these Centurion AVREs can be against those. Missed them, but stunned the vehicle. That infantry just disappeared. Now, provided they were hit by five or six shells from these guys. So it's not that special. But normally, one or two tanks could not do it. Two AVREs can do it. Now I just moved these things to show you that once they're on the move, they don't fire their main gun. You didn't even see them take aim. Only when I stopped them again, you saw them taking aim. And all of this infantry and vehicles just, I don't know, just melted away. That's what these things do best. Taking some more Afghanski fire on these AVREs. They are now really trying to take out those vehicles on the other side, but they're having quite a hard time. Now, one of these CEVs, I'm not sure which, but I'm thinking this one, here on the left. It got hit so bad that it uh, panicked and it was stunned. Well, the other one is calm, and this one is not taking any fire, I think. This is a really bad play. Of course, it's an AI, it doesn't know about it. But if you see this many vehicles together, and you fire at those with an AVRE, you're going to stun everything. I stunned 10 tanks here, including T-64 BVs. Now, provided they have 17 frontal armor, they weren't exactly uh, panicked. They weren't exactly heavily damaged. Or sorry, yeah, one of them was panicked. They weren't very heavily damaged, but they're not capable of firing for at least a couple seconds. 
And again, take them out with different units. And by now, of course, we're getting swarmed by every sort of vehicle, because the deck I gave the AI is just a general deck which has a couple of units in. But that does mean that the AI will call in every kind of unit. Okay, this I wanted to highlight as well. Four CEVs. Uh, one of them has fired so far. Shell impacted. Or barely, actually. Let's see, where are these guys? Um... Actually, they didn't impact. CEVs were firing here, from the road. The shell impacted this house. So, instead of hitting this vehicle, they actually hit the house. Still, the impact radius was that big, that this thing lost six blocks of health and panicked. And this would make them a decent target for a helicopter. Although his buddy um, is still fully calm, so he could easily take down the helicopter. More shells coming in. Destroyed. And I only saw more or less one direct hit from, I think, this shell which came on right on top of this vehicle. The other one just exploded somewhere there and somewhere near this house. Again, not very accurate, but deadly nonetheless. So long, of course, as you have something that has a bit of range. Now, don't mind the scores. It's not important at this point. I'm just highlighting what this unit can do. stunned all of these vehicles and you can see that against an SPW which is a lightly armored vehicle these things can really do quite a bit of damage hopefully they can take them out yep took out most of these guys a couple survivors though So, let's have a look at the broader spectrum of the map. Let's say, where would I position these? Um, normally, in this map, I try to cover this main area with infantry. So, ATGMs would be in a position here to cover the field against tanks. Um, the enemy might take this town. And that means that I have to push either through this flank or here, which also has a town. So this would be a decent map to use CEVs or AVREs on. And what I would do is create a push and try and get those AVREs to come in from the side. If you can get them in this bush here, this small line of forest, you can have some cover. And I think that they can fire at this town for their 2450 meter range. You don't have to completely kill everything in the town. Of course you could if you wanted to but it would take quite a bit of time. If you could just um, stun them, and let's say you were playing with a dedicated American deck, just an American general deck, you could stun these guys and then come in with Delta Force. So in my situation, I would have one or two CEVs here firing at that town, stunning units. Um, if I don't have a visual, I'll just use the blind fire, so a force target on the ground. Have Delta Force sneak around these forests, use this forest as cover and once the stuff is damaged, panicked or wounded here I would send in my delta force from this flank, capture this building and push up through this town so that's how you can use them in tandem with infantry now let's say I was doing a push right here through the middle from Bravo I would use a couple of units of infantry to clear these forests the infantry would be the spotters and the CEVs would be backing up those units because infantry on infantry is usually decided by whoever has more numbers or more veterancy, so a better training. Um, if you have a CEV backing the infantry up, it becomes a completely different game. You completely level up the playing field, and you can use, for example, riflemen uh, versus, let's say, FJBs, for example, commandos. Normally, the FJBs would win that. But if you'd have riflemen firing at them here, with a CEV backing them up from this bush, they would just wipe out those FGBs in one go. So that's how you can use them in a push. Um, try to keep them a little bit to the back, try to have actual tanks take up the pounding from other tanks. 
So um, if you're using the American deck, for example, have a couple of M1, say M1A1, M1A1HA, to take up the punishment from these tanks and dish it out. Sorry, these are not even tanks, they're tank destroyers. Um, dish it out with the tanks and then stun them with the AVREs or the CEVs. And that way you can really easily take down those vehicles. Because it also blocks them from being retreated. Because they are simply stunned, they have no idea what to, uh, what to do. They cannot react to anything. And this is really how you can effectively use those units. So, the battle of course doesn't end well for me because I only have CEVs. And that's why I decided to just stop the replay at this point. Now just let's see how much damage they inflicted on these guys. Um, most of these are still panicked from the fire they took from the CEVs. These made it out alive. These apparently have not taken a lot of fire. These Chan Mahos have taken a lot of fire. And the only vehicle which I had which could do actually that much damage is the CEV. So again they didn't kill these. They got a couple of good splash shots maybe on the Afghanskis which also worried them. Uh, these Chan Mahos are pretty much killed. Except for a few blocks of health. These are pretty much killed and very very worried. Uh, these are probably fresh. These are worried. FGBs took quite a bit of uh, beating from all of these tanks here. So as you can see they can do quite a bit of damage but they need to be supported and that's why they're in the vehicle tab. They're not meant to go out on their own. They're meant to support other units. So if you can use them in that role you should be okay. Hope this vehicle is useful to you. Sorry, I hope this video, not the vehicle. <laughs> Actually, let's hope that both are effective for you. I hope the video showed you how to use this vehicle, how to use the CEV, what the aviary can do, uh, and how they can have a home in your deck. If you haven't tried them out, I recommend using them. Just set up a small experiment for yourself, or use them in a deck and go up against multiplayer and find a role for them. I found that they add a capacity which is not provided by any of the other units in the game. Um, in the vehicles tab that is, because of course you could always bomb someone using uh, 1000 kilogram bombs or even higher. So uh, I hope this was useful. If it was, please hit the like button. It would really help me out. If you have a question still, leave it down below in the comments. And if you want to see more of my guides or videos, please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep them coming. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.